Hello everyone, Solomon here. It's sometime in February 27th, Wednesday, 2024. I'm here at work. It's night time. That's what I do. I'm the overnight CAT scan tech. It only takes two years in x-ray school and six months for CAT scan. With all the requirements and waiting time, I would add a year to it. So, three years, four years, whatever. You'll have a job after four years, much like any other college. I also have a college degree. I don't know why everyone's so woohoo about a college degree when it's absolutely motherfucking useless in the real world. I'm probably not the only person who's ever told you that. Everyone at work has some other related degree. French major, uh, environmental sciences, uh, even MRI. All, all these things, a bachelor's degree. All these things, none of these people have ever used or are currently using their college education. And they told me that at Rutgers that like almost 99% of the time people do not graduate and do whatever is related to their college degree and it's just like that's just the reality you know we spend so much time fucking around we spend so much time fucking around you know and it's like everyone just wants to choose the easy path. Major in dance. Major in gender studies. Majoring in liberal arts. This is not called work! That's called fucking around. Eventually, society and its people know about fucking around and not getting anything done. And the real work more than likely is probably only performed by a very small percentage of the people in all of the world. Lawyers, doctors, scientists, you know, engineers, maybe I know, throw in an architect or two, but in today's world that trans translates to like, is the fire code up to date? You know, something cheesy like that. We never get to do the kind of work, you know, we set our foot in the door for, you know, as we were kids. You know, you quickly learn that there's uh, rules, regulations, laws, hierarchies, you know, politics involved, you know, hardships, adversity, like bullshit jargon, you know, made up rules, and a lot of time fucking around. And, you know, kids, they're innocent, you know, they come to this world, they're eager to learn, but more than likely than not, they're going to find out about the bullshit, they're going to select the easy path, and they're going to waste a lot of time just fucking around, you know. A few with, will make it, a few will make it, have scholarships and stuff and be able to do what they want, but a large majority of us will just fuck around for a long time, you know, appease everyone's, you know, parenting and, and the school teachers and, you know, fall into that false matrix, that dichotomy of of uh, societal, uh, external uh, social validation and realize everyone's gone you're left there by yourself and you're crying why you don't have a job with your gender studies major because all you did that for was for social validation. It wasn't really for you. You know, it wasn't really for 
You, as in you want money, as in you want a paycheck that doesn't suck. As in you won't need to fucking survive. Social validation. I think I, I, I was programmed like that. In the, doomed for failure. You know. Wave after wave of Asian kid. You know, getting straight A's. Getting good SAT scores. You know, all this social validation shit. Where has that gotten me? What did I get out of it? I don't I don't do math problems. I don't I don't solve math problems. I don't even feel like reading, you know, most of the time. I don't give a fuck. You know and yes, I was the straight A student. You know? Outside of that matrix, I, I don't give a fuck, you know, I just put on the show, you know, pamper your, your, your parents' ego in the school district, you know, the, uh, and meet, meet the quota, and outside of that, I, I don't give a shit, you know, I, I, I really don't, I don't do volunteer work, I don't, I don't do, you know, I'm not the class mother, I don't, you know, I'm not someone's parent, uh, some poor kid's parent, you know, I, I literally don't give a fuck, I wish I wasn't this kind of person, but I am, you know, it's, 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 it's all, it's, it's like, I always knew who I was, it's like, you know, am I just putting a show on for people, I don't know, I don't know, my job now is to just not, not go to, like, just to keep, you know, maintain my, my current, position and not get in trouble like because of the way I am like I just I really like, like damn so it's very windy outside I don't know what this episode is about other than waking up feeling like shit and then having to go to work um I guess most people experience this most people at their certain point just you know, cave in, be like, you know, I, I fold my hand and I just want to retire early or whatever and collect, do nothing and, and collect money and collect my bi-weekly social security or pension or my dad's inheritance or whatever the fuck that his wife, his several different wives stole from me. And it's just like, what, 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 what's going on? Like, why do I have to work? That's exactly what the fuck it is, you know? What can help you survive five years of life, ten years of life? You know, sometimes I don't even know, you know, other than playing video... I've always had video games to accelerate time, to get lost into. I always had pornography to rely on. But, you know, all these vices, you know, as are like bad for me or like dopamine killers you know dopamine you know dealers and hits and you know as soon as I withdraw from them and try to cut back and you know of course I'm gonna have a, a feelings of relapse of withdrawal symptoms you know what else would I be doing how else would I have be lost in time you know five years ten years twenty years you know, I'm already approaching 40 years, and that's how it works. If you're working every day, you know, you know, it's it feels like life is dragging. It's slow and whatever, and you know, shit, shit. I don't know. Sometimes I wake up. It's, maybe it's like I need better goals for myself. Um, you know, I need to have new dreams, new hopes. Sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I don't know, you know. 
you know, sometimes people just buy a home and, and, and they're like, I want a better home or my home sucks. I always have to repair something. You know, people are just never really happy staying in one place. So should you be a homeowner? It's questions like this. You know, or are you just happy not to be a homeless and you could settle for whatever? You know. Or maybe you want to be a digital nomad. Maybe you want to go fly to Thailand or whatever. You know. Maybe you want to be a passport bro. I don't know. But you know, being a homeowner, being bound to one area, you know, for a long time, you know, you better... You know, I, I, don't, I don't know what, what the requirements for, for that kind of, like, human ca characteristic trait. Like, you're this, like... Like, white guy, like, the mature, like, white guy with, like, this Freudian, like, look, and with the pipe and, like, kids and, like, a wife, this, like, classical, like, normal-ass person. Or are you a nomad? Like, I don't know. Maybe you can't stay in the same place for too long or you get antsy and you have to start roaming around and traveling because, like, mundane life is motherfucking boring to you. You know, norm, normalized, normalized people, you know, are, are boring to you and you have to keep growing. You have to keep getting out of your comfort zone. And women don't like these kinds of guys. Uh, they don't. Uh, they want, you know, a stable house husband, like a house cat, where she can, like, yell and nag at him all the time. And that's what happens. Um, you know, women are just as bad as men in their, you know, bad, uh, toxic personality traits they start nagging as soon as they're con they dwell in their comfort zone you know they start nagging and bitching at everyone and you know no one wants to be around them no one wants to hear it and like why do you f sound like a like uh you know an old record player like this that's what they do that's what they do when they're in their comfort zone they start nagging and bitching about the same motherfucking thing do the same motherfucking thing over and over again. They don't learn how to cook new recipes or the same shit. They just keep serving the same motherfucking cardboard food. And, you know... That comes with humility. I don't know what the issue is. You know, yeah, that comes with the humility. Oh, I made food, you know. It tastes like shit, but at least we have food. You know, I, I don't know. This is, this, is, this is really low tier. You know... But, you know, it, you know I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, what, you know, low-tier food, maybe it's organic. Maybe it's meant to taste like cardboard because it's organic and you're not going to have high cholesterol and diabetes from this kind of food that she makes. I don't, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't make pizza and she doesn't make these quesadillas and she doesn't make all this, like, American, Americanized food in this, like, soy sauce cover all lo mein because, you know, it's, it's health food. You know, maybe it's because it's healthy for you. I don't know what the issue is. You know, everyone has that person in their family that always makes food that tastes like cardboard and shit. <sighs> Whatever this video was about, you know, I'm going to tell you right now. Every day, you know, you wake up, you're going to feel like shit, and you just have to find your grind. You have to find your grind. You have to do that for the eight plus hours or whatever. Call that a day. You're tired. You take a shower. Do whatever. And go to sleep. And your system resets again. The next day you'll feel like shit. And it'll feel hard. Just as the day before. And you just have to find your grind. You know. You have to find your flow state each and every motherfucking day. That's just how it works. That's how the time goes by. Whether you're working, playing video games, painting, doing arts and crafts, playing with the kids or whatever the fuck. Or playing with your wife's. You know. That this is how it works. You just. Every day is hard. Uh, there's no magic pill. There's no magical pill. You know. Trust me. that if, if there was one. You know. It would be video games. It would be pornography for me. Some other people rely on other things, substances, alcohol, drugs, or whatever the fuck. But each and every day is different, and each and every day you have to find a new grind. Grind and shine. You have to find your note, you know, your flow state, whatever it is. Whatever 
uh, you need to do to get into that flow state, you got to do it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. This has been Solomon Chow. See you next one. Peace out.